You know, as much as I love VHS tapes and have such warm feelings for old video recordings, I can easily admit they were never perfect. In a world where we have a high-definition TV studio in our pockets every day, one that operates in perfect silence because it's all electronics, it can be hard to imagine that our VCRs were mechanical devices full of springs and gears and belts and pulleys and sprockets and spinning metal and wires, all to play long half-inch strips of plastic with rust particles glued to it. There's a lot of stuff that can go wrong. Of course, you already knew that, right? That's why you're here. Maybe you have a tape that's stuck right now. Won't play, won't rewind, won't fast forward. I'll get to some of the causes that might force you to open up the case, but first, I have a client's VHS tape that's got him in a jam. He's been digitizing his family memories and converting them to MP4, but this tape will only play so far, then stops. He can't go past it. He can't play through it. He's stuck. Let's see what we can do about that. Okay, my latest video repair project is this cassette. The client says he's been capturing his own video to MP4, but has run into a problem with this tape. It says it won't play. Well, what can we learn about this? Hmm, this doesn't look too bad. You'll notice that the tape is wound nice and evenly onto the spool. On the other reel, though, I see lots of ridges. This suggests to me, and I could be wrong, this suggests to me that the tape has been played and rewound and played and rewound and played and rewound a lot in this segment and it has wound unevenly onto the uh, spool. So what I'm going to try to do, and I'm not convinced this is going to fix it, is I'm going to fast forward as far as I can go. Actually, I'm going to rewind as far as I can go. Then I'm going to fast forward as far as I can go, hopefully to the end. And then I'm going to rewind it one more time. Uh, this tape otherwise looks to be in good shape. There's a little button you can push on the side over here that lets you uh, flip open the lid. No, the tape doesn't look wrinkled or crinkly or damaged or anything. So let's give it a go. See if uh, the easiest thing fixes it. Now, just to be sure, in case uh, we come back to this point again where it's causing trouble, I'm going to put a mark on here with a dry erase marker. So this will tell me that it went about that far. So that will be my reference point for trouble in the future with this. So let's pop it in the VCR. Good old Panasonic AG. 1970, and let's rewind it to the beginning. It's ramping up speed. Sounds like it's going on pretty evenly. Get back, get. So when it gets back to the beginning, I'm going to send it all the way to the end, and then I'm going to bring it back all the way to the beginning. Hopefully that'll get a nice even wind onto the tape. It's back from the fast forward. Let's have a look at this tape and see how it wound on the feed side. So we see here there's that ridgy part from before and a nice clean wind on that part. So let's see if I can bring all this over to here cleanly and then bring it back over there cleanly. And then you should be able to play the whole thing through unless there's a problem inside the, ca the cassette shell. And now we're at the end. Let's have a look. Let's see if this is doing what I'm hoping it's doing. Okay, that reel's empty. That reel is full. Is it smooth? Oh, that's gorgeous. So now we need one more rewind pass to move this tape over here. Hopefully it will do it cleanly. If it doesn't, if it gets stuck at this mark here, then I'll know that something inside the reel is catching. But I have high hopes for this. Oh, stop.
Okay, we're fully rewound. Let's pop this out and see if it's a winner. Look at that. One little ridge there, but otherwise that looks like it's all cleanly wound on. That one's fully empty, still attached, always good to see. I think we're ready to give this a try. See if we can capture this whole tape in one pass, no dropped frames, and then we'll have great news for the client. Now that's almost a best case scenario. It's not always that easy, but before you decide to open up the cassette shell, try this manually rewind the cassette. You've probably noticed that the tape reels don't spin like they do in an audio cassette. We used to manually rewind those tapes with a pencil. You probably remember doing that. VHS tapes and mini DV and eight millimeter tapes too have a brake mechanism so that these white reels will not turn in either direction. You can release the brakes by pressing here with some kind of pokey thing. Can you turn the wheels now? Well, it was worth a try. Now, you might have to open things up, and I spent about 30 years avoiding that. See, I too had a tape that wouldn't move. This was around 1987. I took it to my dad to fix on his workbench. He said, sure, let's look inside. He unscrewed the back, pulled off the lid, and the insides exploded out like an old game of perfection. And because it was 1987 and there was no YouTube, we had no idea what went where, and the whole thing was a total failure that cost me a tape I still think about today. Back to present time, I learned a good trick that saved me from exploding tape guts. I'll link to it up there, one side or the other. And you can use that technique to open your video cassette, examine the reel, see if anything is broken, jammed, twisted, or blocked. If necessary, you can sacrifice another cassette and move the reels to another shell. Take good care of those memories because as I always tell you, what gets recorded gets remembered, but only if it's taken care of. I'm Scott the Media Hoarder. If this video taught you something, you're my kind of people and I invite you to like and subscribe and follow and join my mission to get everyone's analog era history captured forever on digital. Thanks for watching.